the Garden this morning brought to you by our friends at Seascape. We've spent more time than ever at home. We might as well enjoy our property. Joining us today is Dr. Jim Wilkinson from Seascape. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Good morning, Will. Thanks for having me. Good to have you here. First of all, it's good to, good to see you in person here. Um, and I'm sure for you, it's good to be back out. You know, you've, you've been busy working on people's lawns as well. It, it, it's good to get back out after a, <laughs> after a very long winter. Yeah, so, yes. so spring is here. So what are some of the most important things? Because people are itching to get out. What are some of the most important things folks can do for their yards, their lawns? Well, other than the obvious of, you know, if your lawn is covered with sticks and leaves and, and whatnot, right. those, those need to be picked up. Uh, but it, it's time to begin to fertilize your lawn uh, if you haven't already done it. Mm -hmm. Most people at this time of the year, if you want to control crabgrass for the year, now is the time of the year to control crabgrass. Right. The crabgrass controls need to be applied before crabgrass germinates here in the next three to four weeks. Okay. So if you want to control crabgrass, you want to buy a fertilizer with a crabgrass control included with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now a lot of people may be at home this morning. I mean, the lawn we're showing looks absolutely beautiful, but people may be at home right now. They're looking out their window and they're like, ah, you know what? My lawn is a lost cause. That's not the case. That's not the case at all. It's amazing what we can do with a little bit of fertilizer and weed control. We can revive a lot of lawns that people think are beyond the point of no return. Right now, uh, fall that we that we just had season, um, you know, treatments done. Tell us about, you know, the the amazing things that we can do to our yards. I mean, because not only fo do you folks take care of lawns, you take care of shrubbery and everything uh, around, well, the, around we, the home. Well, we not only, as you say, take care of lawns, but we can take care of trees and shrubs as in terms of fertilizer, insect and disease control. Uh, we also have, have a outdoor pest control uh, program that will control everything from mosquitoes to ticks to deer repellents to stop the deer from eating on your plants. Right. So there's a number of things we can do for your for your property, not just for your lawn. And you know, I mean, you're talking about ticks. It, it's so important to make sure that that's done. God forbid you don't want your pets outside, bring it in inside, and ticks in the house on, on yourself. And indeed, ticks are out already this, this year. Right. Ticks come out very early. Now, what do you say to people? Because we've all been, you know, everybody wants to have their, their yard look nice. You go out, you you can buy the you know the four-step products but by the time you're done it's easier to have you folks come out I mean you know how to handle we hear, everything that that's taken care of in our yard. we hear this from customers all the time it's not a whole lot more expensive to have a professional service do it as compared to doing it yourself right and it's done right we like to think it's <laughs> done right yes it's yes on, I'm, I'm sure it is yes so um so the other thing people often wonder look if I have a bare patch in the yard when can I start to plant grass well um, Ideally, we would like to see people plant grass in the fall. Got Generally, it. you've got to have more success. But if you've got bare spots and you want to see them in the spring, the trick is to wait just a little bit longer before it, to give the soil time to warm up. Okay. The soil is still, particularly with this spring being so cold, soil is still very, very cold, and those temperatures are not going to allow the seed to germinate. So right. wait another three to four weeks before attempting to seed your lawn in the spring. Okay, now the other thing too is, and, and I know we've we probably talked about this before, look, I'll cut the grass. A lot of times I'll have the bagger on the back and I'm picking up the, the clippings. Mm -hmm. You hear things, people say, oh no, you got to pick it up. Then you hear other people say, no, leave it down. Leave it down on the grass. What do we do? Well, the best thing for your lawn is to leave it down. Okay. If you're mowing on a regular basis, leave the clippings down. They do not contribute to thatch, which is which a which is a, a, a fallacy. I really, you know what? I'm glad you said that because I really did think it did. They do not. Okay. And the advantage of leaving clippings down is they decompose very quickly, recycle nutrients back into the grass, and you could actually apply less fertilizer if you're leaving clippings down. That is good to know. Not to mention the fact that it's far quicker and easier to mow your lawn <laughs> if you don't have to stop every pass and empty mm -hmm. the bag. Um, People want to water their lawn. You don't have to overdo it. That's also a thing people do. A lot of times they will overkill as far as water, and then you get your water bill in the mail, and you're like, yeah. what the heck it, did it, I do? I should have shock. done that. It's, it's a, a shock. Right. And we actually offer what we call our Water Savers Program, which is an application of, of water-absorbing uh, polymers, which actually can can help you reduce the amount of water that you need to apply to your lawn. Oh, that's good. It's it's becoming a very popular surface, and people are telling us they can reduce their water in their watering bill by as much as a third 
with with these applications. Wow, that's really yep. that's really a good thing. So you're saving money on that. You're not having to go out there and do it yourself, which is also a plus. Yeah, and you can exactly. have your weekends, and maybe when you get out of work on a Friday night, you're not out there, you know, cutting the grass and yeah, doing all that stuff yourself. You're right. It's good to have you here today. Oh, Thanks thank so much you. for coming. Thank in. you again for having me. Everybody's back in business again. We hope so. <laughs> yes, we yes. do. Yes, we do. This segment was brought to you by our friends at Seascape. For a link to their website, you can head on over to ours. That's Rocho.com.